15 to 5 victory for the Hartford baseball team, two in a row. They take the series from Albany here this weekend. Uh, the star Sean Newcomb, the sophomore, uh, five hitless innings and seven strikeouts. And Justin Blood, we'll get to him in a second. And despite the cold temperatures, you came on out, you're red hot. And uh, prior to the game on the pregame show, uh, your coach saying that they need a big outing from you. I don't know if you kind of used that as a little bit of energy, but it looked like you were kind of out there with a mission. Yep. Uh, I felt good warming up. I worked on some stuff this week that I was struggling with the past weeks and just put in the game and it worked for me. You were able in that uh, third inning, 10 runs, and we didn't keep track, but probably about 50 minutes twice you went on down to the bullpen. What are you t telling yourself that entire time? You like the runs being put up, but it's been quite some time that you were out on the hill. Yeah, I was just trying to stay warm. I went down there a couple times, got thrown, but I was definitely very happy about the runs. That was what I needed. I know, I know you're just a young player in, in five innings, and you know you didn't have a lot of pitches, just 61. But um, when Coach said that you know you're shut down, what were your thoughts? Uh, I was I was mad because I, I knew in my back of my head that I didn't let up any hits so far. But I knew it was better because it's real cold out. It's early in the season. It was, it was better for me in the long run. Congratulations on the outing. All right, thank All right we'll bring in the second year head coach and Justin Blood. And uh, I mean, game time temperature at 35 degrees. Your team, you know, strands four in the first two innings. Then all of a sudden you explode for 15 batters, 10 runs in the third inning. How'd you guys get red hot? <laughs> we, we need to get hot like that. Hopefully that inning will keep our offense going for the next couple weeks. But we, we talked yesterday, we put a lot of balls in the air. And we talked to the guys about having a better approach, putting balls on the ground, especially when it's cold, make guys make throws, make plays, and uh, translate it to some better swings. You guys did a, a very good job of staying patient early on in the game. You made them use uh, six pitchers coming in. I think they got up to seven, but you ran their starter right out. They made three changes in that third inning. So what was the conversation about being patient? You used a lot of walks and hit batsmen in this game. Well, to go along with our conversation pregame about an identity, I think for our hitters, we've been trying to find that identity. And some guys need to be more aggressive, and some guys can take some pitches. And obviously, the pitcher for that day will dictate how you attack it. But you know, I think the guys are getting more comfortable knowing what they can do, how deep they can get into counts. And that will translate to better swings and some walks and taking a hit by pitches. I'd asked you on the pregame that it's an early start here to conference play, and you said that you liked it. Now you're a little bit better off that you got your first series underneath your belt and you're 2 1 here in America East. Yeah, it's big. You know, our goal is to make the tournament and to start out the year winning a series is big. And especially for a, a young team, you know, hopefully we're going to be able to carry that on the next week. We got to. We thought it was cold today. We yeah. got to go to Maine next week, so uh, hopefully the sun will be out and we'll we'll play as well as we did these last couple of games up there. The boys wrap up a 15 to five win against the Albany Great Danes. As I mentioned, they take the series two games to one here in conference play. They'll hit the road against Central Connecticut State coming up on Tuesday. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com.